Here's Woohura. And here's Scotty. Hey guys. And here's Scorch. Here comes Spock. And here's Bones. Hi Bones. Okay, we might see if they'll follow mom a little bit. Scorch, come on over here. Baby Scorch, puppies. Pup, pup, puppies. Come on, guys. I don't really know this yet since we haven't started solid food. Puppies, come on, you guys. Come on, babies. See if we can see Scorch. Come over here, Scorchy. A little closer. Puppies, come on, you guys. Puppies, oh, come on. Come and follow your mama. Here's mom. Here's mom. Okay. All right. We'll probably just put them back in. That's enough of an introduction for now. It's not, uh, it's nice out compared, it's supposed to be raining and snowing the rest of the week, so this was actually not a bad day. Yeah, you guys. But, uh, I don't know how many more opportunities we'll have to get them out in the next week, but we'll see how it goes. Signing off for Winter Star Farm. Well, it is April 11th and the pups are three weeks old and we're just trying some solid food for the first time. And we've got one taker who's going to stand in it. Um, certainly, uh, some of these pups were a little hungrier, it seemed like they just wanted to race straight forward and ate. Well, who do we have that's getting the hang of this? Who is that? Oh, it's Scotty. Scotty says, okay, I got it. I'm supposed to eat this. Here comes Kirk. Maybe we're going to try it. And who is this here? Who's this answer by? This is Spock. Okay, Spock, you should try a piece of kibble. Try a nice piece of kibble once. How about that? Here we go. So, and over there's Bones. And here sacked out is Woohura. Come on, Woohura. We gotta get up and try some food. Yeah, we're such big puppies. I don't know. This might be a. Of course, there's so much milk. This might be a tougher sell on these guys to give them to try something new when they're. So full. Um, Kirk is going to be over seven pounds this morning, so I got to weigh everybody. Uh, but uh, I weighed him last night, and he was just barely under seven. So that's huge for three-week-old puppy. So these guys are growing really well. So well, we'll go ahead and we'll start with the solid food, and hopefully be able to start some weaning. And uh, yeah, signing off from Winter Star Farm. Bones on top. And it gets woo her underneath. Little woo her. There's Scotty in the back. There's Kirk back there. Got some kind of a puppy pile up. There's woo her. I came up from the bottom. Yeah, you're pretty cute, woo her. I to get my brother. I gotta go get that guy. Yeah, we're going to go wrestle over here. Scotty and Spock are going to get into it. Oh, Scorch. Ruining the film. Mm -hmm. You guys are falling asleep. This playtime just doesn't last too long. Oh, there goes Wooker and Spock. Having a little wrestling match. All right. Signing off from Winter Star Farm. It's, um... April 14th, and the pups are three and a half weeks old. And they're sitting and play. I just had some cute play going on. Now they stopped. We got lamb chop. I got we got kind of lamb chop. Yeah. I think that might be. Might be Spock. Oh, there's Spock over there. That's Spock. There's Wukura with a little dot on the back of her neck. And sleeping here, this is Scotty, and this is Bones. This is Kirk right here. Yeah. Kirk. Yeah. 
I am playing with lamb trap, rolling around, doing fun stuff. Well, puppy visits coming. Um, Tom and Tiki are coming. And we'll have some playtime with these guys. Yeah. Same now from Winter Star Farm. Well, it's the evening of April 15th, and the pups are three and a half weeks old. And um, you know, we had over 12 inches of snow today, and it's got like 40 mile an hour winds. It's really, I'd like to get these guys outside for a following lesson, but this just isn't going to happen until this weather gives us a little bit of a break. This is new that Scorch is feeding them standing up. Um, they've got a lot of teeth now, and they're pretty big. And they have very little interest in the solid food uh, yet. And uh, hey, Scotty, how you doing, buddy? Um, this is bones on this side. Um, they're just not hungry. So, uh, well, we'll see how it goes here. There's Kirk. And there's Wuhara. And here's bones. And there. Yep. Oh, there's one underneath. There was Spock for a second. I saw him. Here he goes. He's going in underneath. Um. So I mix up a little bit of mush for him and I put it outside of the pen um, and put scorch feed her on the other side and they're interested in what scorch is eating so they crowd over to it and taste it but that's about it. They're really not eating a um, significant amount of solid food yet so it'll come. Uh, scorch is like I'm done with you guys I'm getting out of here and, and they'll get a little bit more hungry but uh, yeah what a difference from the last litter where from day one they were eating their full meal every time we fed it. So, um, they're all doing great. They got a little upper respiratory thing going, uh, no fevers and they're not sick, they're feeling okay, but they've got snuffly noses and runny noses. You can probably hear it a little bit with their snuffly breathing. Um, you can hear it, especially when they nurse because they, they breathe a little harder. So, um, yeah, so uh, the, our vet said just to keep an eye on it and. It's probably viral and not to treat it at all unless they unless they got uh, sick from it. So yeah, they seem just fine. So that's what's going on. And uh, signing off from Winter Star Farm. Well, here we are in the farm, and it is um, April 20th. It's Friday. The pups are four and a half weeks old, or four weeks and a couple days old. And we are just outside because Lisa's cleaning the house, and she's doing it in their area, and needs to jump in. And, and uh, you know, I vacuum around them all the time, but she wants to, like, really do a thorough job and dust and everything. So I just want to get everybody out of her way for a little bit. So we've been coming outside um, a little bit as this weather has warmed up. And uh, they're all getting used to it. As you can see, it's starting to play a little bit. Um, I'd say Scotty is the most worried about it yet. Yeah, when they first came out, they just hide underneath the truck. Oh, but Scotty's out there somewhere playing because this is Wura right here. And that's Bones. And this is Spock going in underneath the trees. And that must be, uh, oh, there's Scotty on the top of the hill. He's behind the, the metal tire. They're just coming out now and there's Kirk laying down behind the behind the uh, cone flowers here. There we go. There's Kirk and Scotty. Well, it's good to see Scotty coming out. He kind of was sitting underneath the truck a lot and not feeling secure enough to come out. They've been a little bit of stairs this morning. Um, you know, Scorch ran down there and so a few of them followed her down and we're starting to get the hang of, of coming up. These stairs are nice because they're not too tall. Kirk really likes the snow. He's the most adventurous and he jumped right into the garden and thinks that's fun. He's the one behind there. There's Scotty going for shelter there underneath the truck. And here's Kirk. Like, I think I got a party. Um, and uh, I don't know, everyone's having a good time. But um, we haven't gone on any walks because we now have this terrible mud. Um, once you get out on the driveway, it's not so bad. But um, until you get out on the driveway, it's pretty awful. So we're just romping around out here on the parking pad and working the hill here a little bit. and. Um, and stuff like that. Scorch continues to lose all of her hair. Yeah, Scorch. She's gonna be just this naked. She's not bad on the top, but you can see on the bottom that she's not got much hair left. It's gonna shut down to the skin all the way on her whole body. She won't even look like herself. She'll look like some sort of a coyote or something. So, all right, well, that's what's going on. And uh, signing off from Winter Star Farm. It's this Come way, on, guys. Puppies. Puppies. Come on, guys.
Puppies, this puppies. Way. Come on, guys. This way. Come on, pup pups. Oh, we're just getting there where we're learning to follow a little bit. Come on, guys. A little bit. Puppy, puppy. They're starting to eat their food better. Um, it's uh, April 21st today. So, um, now as they learn to, to associate food with the puppy puppy call, we should get improvement in their coming. Uh, you know, that's uh, usually why they come is because they're used to being called with puppy puppy every time you feed them. So who is this over here? Is this Kirk? Kirk's like, I got it. I'm here. I eat foods. I'm chasing your feet. Yes, I got it. Scorch, come over here. And everybody else said, we're going to go in the garden. I was trying to get them over here where the sun is a little warmer. Uh, it's just a nice sunrise this morning and it's just about freezing. So uh, nice to get these guys out. Let's see. I think all you can see is shadows in this thing, the way this is going. That's not so good. Let's see, guys. Here. Try to leave them in the light, would ya? Hey, babies. Um, let's see. That's Scotty going that way. Truck, truck along. And this is Bones. And this is Woohura. Yeah, I gotta do some stuff. Oh, and over, uh, Spock, oh, is, Spock, is, Stock, Spock is using the garden for his toilet. Taking a little poop. I'll have to, fun time clearing that out. There's little Woo. Woo Woo. Hey, Woohura. Hey, babies. All right, there's Woo, and that's um, next to her, uh, Scotty. Yeah, Woo and Scotty, and this is uh, Bones right here. And there goes Bones. Hey, Bones. I think that's Bones. Yeah, that's Bones. Yeah, let's play. Let's play a little bit. Just having some fun. We'll be trying to get them outside. Now the weather should be giving us a break, so we'll try to get outside quite a lot more and catch up for all the times we haven't had. Have them outside and getting used to 